This is a drug profile of metoprolol. It is manufactured under two trade names. Uh, we have got Lepressor, which offers an immediate release oral tablet, and Toprol XL, which offers an extended release oral tablet. It belongs in a class called beta blockers, and how it works, it is a cardioselective drug that inhibits beta-1 adrenic receptors in the heart. It antagonizes catecholamine-induced tachycardia at the beta receptor sites. And the response you get is a decreased heart rate, decreased cardiac contractility, and decreased cardiac output. Uh, most of this drug is absorbed in the intestines. And the second part of this made no sense to me the first, like, 50 times I read it. So I googled every word that did not make sense, and I've included the definitions at the bottom of this slide. And through reading those definitions, it made a lot more sense. So now when I read it, the oral dose bioavailability is about 50% due to pre-systemic metabolism, which is saturable, leading to a non-proportionate increase in the exposure with increased dose. Now when I read that, it actually makes a lot more sense. About 10% of metoprolol in plasma is bound to serum albumin. This drug is known to cross the blood-brain barrier and enter cerebral spinal fluid and cross the placenta and enter breast milk. However, crossing the blood-brain barrier and entering cerebral spinal fluid only occurs if the drug is taken orally. This drug is mainly metabolized in the liver and about 95% of the drug is excreted in the urine. And at the bottom of this slide, we've got this lovely chart that I made. Uh, we've got the root, onset, peak, and duration. There is two ways you can get this drug. You've got your liquid IV in the vials there, or there is oral tablets that you can take. And if we look over at the right and see all these oral tablets, you'll also notice that they are all in different milligrams. So if we go to the next slide here, we can see the dosages for different conditions. All right, so these are just some of the most common conditions that metoprolol... Me what drug do I have? Med metoprolol. There we go. <laughs> that metoprolol would treat. So we've got hypertension, angina, myocardial infarction, congestive heart failure, and atrial fibrillation. And through reading through this, you'll notice I've used some abbreviations here. So if we look at the top, I've got IR here. When I use IR, I am referring to immediate release oral tablets. When I use ER, I am referring to extended release oral tablets. And when I say just oral, I am referring to both immediate release and extended release tablets. This drug might be used to manage hemodynamically stable MI, treatment of arrhythmias, managing angina, managing CHF, controlling hypertension, treatment of tachycardia, and treatment for AFib. Reasons not to use this drug would be if a person has an increased sensitivity to beta blockers, pulmonary edema, cardiogenic shock, bradycardia, heart block, uncompensated heart failure, sick sinus syndrome, heart rate less than 45, or a blood pressure less than 100, and any respiratory conditions are relevant if it is given by IV. Common side effects. Oddly enough, CHF is listed as a side effect, although that is also one of the conditions that this drug is supposed to be treating. A bunch, of, Among a bunch of other things that I have not listed, because the list is almost endless, 
We've got heart block, hypotension, bradycardia, low blood pressure, tiredness, sleep disturbances, vertigo, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, bronchospasm, rash, blurred vision, memory loss, constipation, dry mouth, flatulence, and dizziness. And some of these side effects can be caused not by the drug itself, but by mixing the drug with things it should not be mixed with, which is listed at the bottom half of this slide most predominantly being IV use of calcium channel blockers. Special considerations. If you are prego, this is a category C drug, so it is safe for the mother. There is a risk to the fetus, but the risk is unknown. So you really just gotta weigh the benefits and pick or choose. Uh, for nursing mothers, you are basically safe to nurse with it since the amount that the infant would get through breast milk is very small. Uh, for the little humans, there's not any clinical trials established with this drug, so we don't really have any data for anyone under six years old. However, though, basically, if you have to use it, you, of course, just want to lower the dosage as much as you can for the little people. Uh, for the old people, there is no clinically significant difference that have been found due to the age. However, with that population, generally you should proceed with caution. Um, hepatically impaired people are the only population that I can establish you have to be really careful with with this drug. And that is because a majority of the metabolism occurs in the liver and caution should be used because the elimination time is considerably prolonged. And that is it for the drug profile of metoprolol.